Here's what's making news now around Indiana, brought to you by Smithville. Well, the Indiana Finance Authority has reached agreements with I-69 development partners and bondholders, allowing the state to take over Section 5 of the I-69 extension project. The Indiana Department of Transportation to assume control of the project connecting Bloomington to Martinsville by the end of July. And Evansville Brewery is under new ownership. Louisville-based venture capital and real estate uh, firm Nice Ventures has acquired 10-man brewing. Wisconsin-based Midwestern Bioag is celebrating the grand opening of its $15 million manufacturing plant at Fair Oaks Farms in northwest Indiana. The company says the Newton County facility is capable of producing 65,000 tons of fertilizer annually. And three Indiana cities ranked among the top 10 in the nation for having the lowest cost of living. Fort Wayne, Evansville, and South Bend are one, two, three in the rankings from niche.com that were determined by metrics including home value, rent, gas prices, and property taxes. Well, a crew of 16 Indiana Electric Cooperative line workers returned to Central America again to bring electricity to uh, a region of that country and improve quality of life. It was the Indiana Electric Cooperative's third trip to Guatemala, and the team electrified 60 homes, a school, a church, and clinic all by hand without the aid of modern conveniences such as uh, bucket trucks. For more on Project Indiana, let's turn to Indiana Electric Cooperative's Vice President of uh, Job Training, Safety, and Loss Control, Gavin Strance, and Nine Star Connect Director of Operations, Jamie Bell. And gentlemen, welcome to the program. Thank you. And, and uh, congratulations and thank you. Both of you were on this trip, which is amazing. We did something the last time uh, you went there. It's an amazing story. Project Indiana. Gavin, talk about what Project Indiana is all about. Well, Project uh, Indiana is a, is a program where we decided, you know, what can we do as cooperatives mm -hmm. that, and what we do best as cooperatives is mm -hmm. provide electricity. Well, a lot of Indiana, of course, almost all of Indiana has already got electricity, so we started looking outside the state of Indiana where we could do a project and give electricity to somebody that's never had electricity before in their lives. Yeah. Talk about uh, you're in Central America, Guatemala. Uh, you go to a region that's very mountainous. Uh, this time around, you're at an elevation of, of 10,000 feet. Yes. So you've got a lot of challenges in doing what you want, set out to do. Yeah, because, uh, you know, a lot of the work, as you you said it was all done by hand, yeah. you know, so we had to set the poles by hand, we had to climb the poles, um, and 10,000 feet, we're down here in Indiana, we're not used to working that high up, so yeah, yeah. you run out of gas in a hurry, believe yeah. me. Very good. Jamie, talk about the process. You're with Nine Star Connect, you were on the trip and, and really took part in, in that process. You're running the electric lines and all you do on the outside, but also wiring these, these buildings on the inside. Talk about the process. Uh, well, we started, you know, from, from outside setting anchors, getting all the, all the poles ready, putting the hardware up, and, and finally getting to where we could uh, get the electricity inside the homes right. and inside the churches mm -hmm. and inside, you know, the, mm -hmm. uh, the clinics. Yeah. Uh, you know, after we did that, uh, you know, the, the gratifying part of, of being able to have the homeowner, you know, the, the, the yeah. person flip the switch on was, yeah. was fantastic. Th that had to be great. What, yeah. uh, how challenging, you know, no bucket trucks, the things that uh, are, are commonplace here in Indiana, none of that down there in no. this mountainous region. No, and it, it like Gavin kind of said, and you spoke about the, the 10,000 foot elevation mm -hmm. was, was probably one of the biggest challenges to get even any of the equipment up there along with all the tools. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, was, it was a big challenge, yeah. big challenge. G Gavin, I know that kind of the genesis of this was uh, thinking back uh, the Indiana Electric Cooperatives and how Indiana was many, many years ago, rural Indiana, you yeah. know, without yeah. electricity and doing it there. This gives people opportunity. Yes, uh, it does. You started this, I think your first trip was in 2012. Have you seen benefits coming from those earlier trips? That, yeah, some of the earlier trips we went to, we've been in contact with some of the villages yeah. we energized to begin with, and you'd be surprised how fast that helps those people to, mm -hmm. to get some of the modern conveniences in that they don't have yeah. never had. Yeah. You know, some of the women have getting irons already and starting to use ironing boards and yeah. of all things and refrigeration. You know, yeah. up till this point in time, anything that they can they fix for lunch, they have yeah. to consume because they can't yeah. sustain it. Jamie Bell from uh, Nine Star Connect and uh, Gavin Strands from the Indiana Electric Cooperatives. Thanks very much, and we'll talk to you soon. Well, thanks for watching Inside Indiana Business on YouTube. For the latest statewide business news, be sure to visit InsideIndianaBusiness.com and subscribe to our free daily e-newsletters by clicking on the link.